Good morning, lesson 10-1, statistical questions. So this is the beginning of our statistics unit. So a statistical question, okay? Statistics involves collecting, organizing, and interpreting pieces of information or data. And honestly, this rules your life. So learning this now will help you as an adult. One way to collect data is by asking statistical questions. A statistical question is a question that is answered by collecting data. Answers to statistical, statistical questions will vary based on the data collected. The, the answers will vary. Okay, what does that mean? The table gives some examples. So a statistical question might be, how many text messages do middle school students typically send each day? It's like we're trying to figure out an average. We're trying to figure out a statistical something, the mean of how many uh, texts are sent by middle school students in a typical day. Is it every day they send that many? No. A statistical question might be, how many hours per night does a typical teenager spend watching television? So we could ask that question to a lot of teenagers and they would give us an answer and then we could take all those answers and compile that data into um, some different ways we organize it in order to present it. So those are pretty good statistical questions. Not statistical questions. What is the height and feet of the tallest mountain in Colorado? Is this going to vary? No. There is one mountain in Colorado that is considered the tallest, and we could figure out the height of that. How many people attended last night's jazz concert? You could figure that out. Like, that's a singular, finite answer. There's no variation. There's not multiple pieces of data. So not statistical questions. That's a pretty hard one for middle schoolers to try to understand. I think this is presented pretty well. You can get different varying answers over here. Here, there's one answer. That's it. So that's not a statistical question. That's just a question. All right. So first step. Oh, boy, it's way far down here. The first step in um, stats is to construct a statistical question. Use your question to collect data. Then we summarize the data, and this is what we usually do in math class, is we work on summarizing the data and then use the data to answer the statistical question. So first we have to have the question, collect the data, figure out what the data means, use that to answer our original question. That's kind of what stats do. There are people who do this kind of stuff for a living, so if numbers are interesting to you, that might be a good field to study. So there's going to be a lot of words in this lesson. So first we need to determine whether or not each question is statistical. How many states are there in the United States? Well, is that a singular answer or can we have varied answer? Singular. There's 50 states. Not statistical. How many states has the typical middle school student visited? This is statistical because typical middle school students might have visited zero states. Well, I meant, I guess one, because the state you live in, or multiple states. And because you're asking about the typical something and how many they did, you can figure out data and then summarize it. So this, yay, statistical. In what year did Alaska become a state? Well, that's just a thing. Like we, we just know that. It became a state, uh, coincidentally, 100 years after Oregon became a state. So not a statistical question, that's just a fact. And how many states has a typical adult in your neighborhood lived? Oh, that's statistical, because now we're trying to figure out how many, and we could ask somebody, and it would be different, probably, between different people. All right, let's look at these ones. What is the height of the tallest roller coaster in the world? Is that a fact, or can that be a varied answer? Well, that's just a fact. We could Google that. How many roller coasters are typically found in an amusement park? Oh, how many roller coasters in a typical amusement park? Well, amusement parks are different, so they might have different amounts of roller coasters. Statistical. On average, this should be a big hint. That's a statistical word. On average, how many roller coasters does a typical middle school student ride each summer? Totally statistical. On average, that's a statistic. Uh, how many? Typical. Okay. And what year was the tallest roller coaster built? Uh, that's a fact. We can look that up. Okay. We good? 
that's, that's how you identify the questions. Then you gotta display your data. So there's a couple ways you can do that. A survey is one way to collect data to answer statistical questions. A survey usually means you ask people something. Once the data is collected, you can record your results in an organized way, such as a table. Here's a table. Here's a table, right? So if we had to put this information in the table, number of responses, we could just use a thing called tally marks. Two, four, five, four, two, one, three, one, one, four, six, three, five, two, two, one, one, four. And those would be tally marks, then we could add those up. One, two, three, four, five, four, two, four, two, one. I should have been paying better attention, and this would be better written as one, two, three, four, and then across to represent five. This would have been better. This is mm, bad, Misty. Don't do that. Okay? Getting data in a data table. Also a table, the one we saw up above. Tables turn out to be super handy. And then you need to analyze the results. So find the total number of students they surveyed. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we gotta add them up. Find the sum of the total number of responses. We had five, four, two, four, two, one in the boxes, and that would mean the total number of students. So five plus four is nine, 10, 11, 15, 18. 18 students were surveyed. Summarize the data. Study the responses, determine if there's an overall trend. One observation you can make is that half of the students in the survey studied fewer than three hours per week. So let's look. Fewer than three hours would be here. Let's look at the numbers here. Five and four is nine, 10, 11. There's 11 here, four, five, six, seven. Seven here. Clearly, more students studied less than three hours each week. Okay, that's just summarizing the data. It helps people to understand what's going on if you can put it in fewer words. People like fewer words. Okay, so let's do, let's do this one. Oh, I know we're already at seven minutes. If you feel like you've got it, stop the video and go ahead and move on to your assignment. If you think you need a little extra, let's do the check on page 540. Suppose you want to answer the statistical question, how many times does a typical middle school student exercise each month? Which is a question, typical, right, each month. You survey your friends using the question, how many times each month do you typically exercise? And then these responses were given. Somebody goes 14 times a month to exercise and some people five. We're gonna organize the data and, the, and then get some results. Just curious, how many students did they ask? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I'm just gonna make a note here. 11 students, in case we need that later. All right, one person had 14, that's 12 or more, 12 or more, then a six fits up here, then a two, a one, a zero, a 10, a six, a three, a four, and a five. Okay, so we organized the data. That was easy. Now, select the statement that best represents the data. Okay, most students surveyed typically exercise at least eight times a month. At least would be no more than eight. Well, that's not true because only three people exercised more than that, so nope. We're gonna say no. Most students surveyed typically exercise more than seven times each month. More than seven would be these. No, we already decided that's not the most. Most students surveyed typically exercise seven or fewer times each month. Well, here's the seven and fewer, that's eight. Boy, that seems true. Exactly half the students surveyed typically exercise four or more times each month. Four or more is not half, because that would mean all of this would have to be worth four, and clearly it's not. It's just a little bit of thinking. I believe in you. Good luck.